What's up, Cal Game? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem. So we have this constant force of 50 newtons being applied to this pulley. And it's pulling this block down this uh, pipe, basically. So we're initially, our S, which is the distance away from the wall, is 2 meters. We know the mass is 6 kilograms, and we're initially starting to rest. So all of this is happening, and we're trying to find the velocity of A once S becomes zero. So basically, when the block is all the way against the wall, what is the velocity of A? So to do that, we're using work energy, right? Basically, it's just saying initial energy, which is going to be zero because we're at rest initially, plus the changes in energy, which is going to be force in this case, is going to be equal to our final energy, which is going to be kinetic energy. So also, the change in energy from one to two is going to be equal to the equation we're using in this case is the integral from the radius one to radius two of force change in radius. So first of all, let's figure out uh, what this equation is going to look like. So we're going to plug in our numbers. Basically, we're going to get radius one to radius two of f dot dr is equal to kinetic energy one half mass velocity squared. Now we're solving for velocity. So how do we solve this integral? But what we need to find is what our bounds are. So radius is going to be the length of this line here. So first of all, let's start with initially. Let's look at a triangle of what it looks like initially. So we know we start with s is 2 meters, so the base is 2, and the height is 1.5. Now use Pythagoras' theorem to find the hypotenuse, and you're going to find that this is 2.5 meters. So radius initial is 1.5. Um, also, we're going to need to subtract this because it's pushing it to the left. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you can track your negatives. Um, so we're going to start with the radius 1 of 2.5. Then our radius final, well, you can imagine, as s becomes 0, all that's left is this vertical distance of 1.5. So radius 1 is going to be 2.5, and radius 2 is going to be 1.5. So this is going to look like is integral 2.5 to 1.5. Now, of course, we can plug in 50 newtons. And it's equal to 1 half mass velocity squared. So this integral becomes really easy to solve. Right, it's just going to be equal to 50, right? Because there's no r, it's just going to become an r, and it's just going to become 1.5 minus 2.5. Then what you can do is you can plug in our max over here. So max is 6 kilograms. You get velocity squared. So what this is going to become is this becomes 1 and then minus, so that cancels out. So we're going to get 50. Then 1 half of 6 is 3, so we're going to divide by 3, take the square root to get that this is velocity, and solve for this. So you get that velocity is equal to 4.08 meters per second, and that's your answer. So there we go, we solved the problem. Not too tricky. Just about understanding your formulas and understanding how work gets converted from one force to another, how it gets put into a system and taken out of a system. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel for more problems like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.